Typing name as the header for a name column isn't how we create column headers. Labeling column headers are important since a lot of analysis are based on the headers. In case of large data sets, column headers help you save time and confusion as well. Hello there, this is Farihatul Mim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Here is a data set with 6 records of salesmen with multiple products and their prices. With this, we will learn how to create column header in Excel. We will discuss 3 methods with the help of Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In this method, we will format our data set into a table. For that, select B4 to D10 first, go to Insert tab and from the Tables group, click on table or we can go along with the keyboard shortcut ctrl t now we can see our range is already selected and make sure you check this box so that our first row of the selection is considered as column headers okay now we can see that our column headers are already set and added as title let's change the font from the home tab under the font group to automatic there we go in this method, we will freeze rows so that we can easily create column headers without creating table or any other ways. Let's click on B5. Now go to View tab from the window group. Click on Freeze Paints drop down. Here, click on Freeze Paints. And now we can see that there are vertical and horizontal straight lines based on the top left corner of the selected cell. Now, if we scroll down the page, we can see that row 1 to 4 are fixed within the screen and other rows will keep scrolling as we go down or up. Same goes for columns. A column will be constant in the screen and other columns will keep moving as we scroll right or left. So, we can say these lines represent the freezing axis. Let's say you want to print your data set so that the rows you choose to be your column headers will be at the top of every printed page. For that, go to Page Layout tab, then from the Page Setup group, click Print Titles. Here, on the Sheet tab, make sure your print area is selected as B4 to D10 and rows to repeat will be the rows that you want in every page of your print. And columns to repeat is not really necessary every time. So we have chosen column A. Now let's look at the print preview. Here we can see our print preview and these are the settings that you need to make sure that these match to your requirement. You can change any of them according to your wish. Finally, click on print and it will start printing your dataset. From these methods, you can choose any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.